All right, what's up, YouTube? I'm Gilbert here. It's been a good minute since we have done a market watch. And with Nationals just being two weeks away, uh, there's a lot of cards that are going to start changing and going up, um, not only because of Nationals, but because of the hype that's coming after Nationals. Um, the first one on the list uh, to note is Quaking Mirror Force. Uh, this card was six seven dollars for a little while um it's coming in now at a whole twelve dollars uh so if you intend to play this card um and you haven't got it yet uh pre-reprints in the mega tins um i'd recommend doing so now if you have any intent to play it in the next couple of months if not uh, if you have one or two sitting around go make yourself 12 bucks um it's definitely no real reason to be sitting on at least at the moment uh white stone of ancients of course this thing is going on value uh, the blues, blue eyes hype is real. Um, blue eyes spirit dragon. Uh, even though this card's rumored to be in the tins this year, um, I I can't confirm or deny that anymore because I haven't heard a change in rumor. Uh, but these things are still coming in at twenty bucks. So once again, same thing. If you plan on playing blue eyes, you need the stones. Stones you're gonna be putting up fourteen for blue eyes spirits eighteen and sage with eyes of blue. You're gonna be putting out seventeen for so. You definitely got your agenda cut out for you if you intend to build blue eyes. Uh, stuff is moderately cheap. I'd pick it up now while you can, though. Um, something on the Metaphosis, or Metaphose, however you want to pronounce some side. Um, there's like a 1% chance that Cyberstein could come back in the TCG. And let's just have a look at the market on Stein. Now, there was, what, 11 sellers on TCG Player just for the rare? And the rare is the only printing in the TCG outside of the $3,000 Shonen Jump. And I don't think you want to be paying that. Uh, especially this card comes back. So um, if you're intending to take the gamble, uh, you might want to do so now. Because once Cyber Signs are gone, this card could very easily punch $40 to $50, depending on the deck. Uh, just a brief little summary here of the latest set shining victories um most expensive card still crystal wing but he's only 20 bucks drowning we already talked about the blue eye stuff see third fourth and fifth most expensive cards in the set dark lady's still at 15 uh ghost cherry still coming in at her whole 15 blue eyes twin burst holding a very steady 10 dollars. he has been for a while uh white spirit dragons another card you're gonna pick up you're gonna be spending about eight to nine on those and then dark planets uh, no one ever played it <laughs> It's just one of those things that's just sitting there floating in the void. Speaking of Into the Void, uh, if you don't have Into the Void and you're planning on playing Klee Fort, uh, you're going to be spending 30 bucks to get a set. Or 30 per, so 90 on a set. It's pretty ridiculous. Uh, next up, Mask of Restrict, still holding its retarded value. Fucking $9 for a common. Like, let's be real, guys. No one wants to deal with that. Uh, next up is Anti-Spell. Um, this is another one of those uh, that's been fluctuating, I guess, since it got its latest printing. Uh, pushing these down to 10s. Um, it's definitely still not bad, but still. OTS Super's coming in at 8 bucks. Uh, if you guys haven't or haven't moved these, if you don't intend to play against Pendulums, you might want to move them. Uh, Romage, Jasmine, finally coming down off of her supposed hype, uh, <laughs> settling in at $8. I feel like this is where a card like this needs to be. Maybe a little bit less, uh, but still not too terrible. And last but not least, the current TCG OCG hype, Galaxy Soldier. If you guys don't know about the ABC uh, Union deck that's been taking the OCG by storm with retard DDDs, then you probably aren't going to understand why this card's $14. However... It's a very good $14. Um, it'll probably get a reprint by the time we get ABC Derp Derps. Um, but it's one of the things to be aware of. If you guys got these and you don't plan to play ABCs anytime soon, uh, <laughs> move this shit. Make yourself some money. So some of the things that I definitely think are going to go up. Cyberstein, if he comes back, this card's going to go retardo. Um, and I can't stress that enough for those of you that want to believe that Cyber Saiyan is going to come back. Um, definitely prepare your anus if it does. Uh, if it does, it needs a reprint. Uh, Chaos Emperor still needs an updated card text as well uh, to possibly come back. Uh, but we all know 
how that's going to go. So we'll have to wait and see, but uh, Konami America has a long history of not liking the same things that are happening in Japan, and Metal Phosis definitely needs Cybersign. Maybe they'll move it to one, but Cybersign's a card that I think is Saki at one, just like Wavering Eyes, and it needs to be at three for its full power, but I'll have to wait and see. So guys, leave a comment down below. Down, 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 and tell me what you guys think, and I'm out. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up this video to show your support. And please check out Vancole 40 for Cardfight Vanguard, M. Cole Games for miscellaneous trading card games, and No Limit Gaming for a brand new series of Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Thanks for watching.